oh my gosh, that poop just got so much clearer. Let me, how do I block my vision? Oh gosh, I can't. I'm just going to use you to block it. You laid right back down. Okay, anyways. This has been episode one of the heaviest zoo. Oh my gosh, the female. No, not right in front of us. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are going to be starting a brand new Planet Zoo series. After realizing I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, and that I finally have free time, I decided to make a YouTube poll asking what kind of animals we should have in this series. And the majority of you guys said that I should have the top 10 biggest animals in this zoo, so that's what we're going to be doing today in the first episode of... Heaviest Zoo. I think it's a great name. Anyways, the main gist of the zoo is that we're going to have the top 10 heaviest animals in the game in this zoo, which is honestly going to be rough because they take up a lot of space and they eat a lot of food, which is very expensive. But if we look in the Zoopedia, I've actually already found the top 10 heaviest animals. I'm not going to say them all in this video though, so you'll have to watch future episodes to figure those ones out. But in this video, we are going to be doing the Wissent. I believe that's how you say it, right? The Wissent? I think so. So if we search it up right now, Wissent, here it is, it's basically a buffalo, a bison, however you want to say it. If we look at the species data, the Wissent is a staggering 1,687 pounds, and yes I have it in pounds because I'm in America, I don't know what you Europeans do, but this is what we do. Anyways, this actually isn't as much as I thought the number 9 heaviest animal would be in this game, but it's 1,600 pounds, so whatever. Anyways, I chose this guy because he only needs 2. 2 to 13, so his enclosure can actually get quite massive, but since he only needs 2 to start out with, the land area really isn't that much. I might even make it like a 1,000 square meters. And yes, I know I said I'm in America, and I have this as meter squared, but meter squared is just so much easier because it's like half as much as feet, and it's just easier to manage. I don't know why. But anyways, this is what we're going to be doing. Hopefully, it's in the animal market. Okay, to start this zoo, we are going to do the first thing many creators do, and that's choosing a path. Now, what path would look best for the biggest animals in this game? I'm thinking about something rough, kind of like a natural path, but more put together. Almost like a natural path, maybe? Ooh, no, because that's actually just like clear. And what's this? It's clear as well, I don't know the difference. But anyways, um... I'm thinking maybe tree bark. I think tree bark looks kind of nice. So we'll do that. And I want to make sure this is in line. So I'm actually going to delete this. Have that as like a little circle. And now I know this is going to be aligned. We have the width at 10 meters and the length at 5. So we're going to do that. Go 1, 2 at the 5 length. Then we're going to bring that down to 1. And a lot of people do this. Or maybe it's just me. I'm not sure. But I put an asphalt path at the end, or just a different path, and then I extend it back to 5, and place another of the other, like, original path. And now that we have that, I go to delete path, delete everything behind it, and then I come up here, and I take the guest spawners and the zoo entrances. I, like, take the group, so, hang on, how do I, how do I select the group? There we go. So the guest spawners, the four of them, and the two entrances are all in this area. So I can move them at the same time and move them to this path I have, which is right here. Get it as close as I can, so about right there. And there we go. So now we can have a custom entrance. We just have to build our zoo over here past the black asphalt, and everything this way can be the entrance. So now we can get rid of this for some extra change. There we go, so that brought us up not much at all, I'm not even sure if it gained money or not, but we're going to delete these paths, like all of them, they look ugly, they shouldn't be here. There we go, now the terrain's a bit messed up, but that's okay, because we're going to be focusing on what's over here, and also, are these like, and no they're not, it's just there's long grass and then short grass, so it makes it look like it's almost indented, I don't know, it might just be me. But anyways, we have to quickly connect these guest entrances up. So let's go length one, tree bark. Okay, it doesn't want to do tree bark. Oh wow, this is a mess. Let's, let's lower the width, how about that? Alright, this is a lot more manageable. So we'll do that, and then do this. Connect this up. And this one, 
And now we're up and running besides the actual zoo aspect of this. Okay, so I'm thinking for now, how I kind of want to do this is turn up the width, of course. And I'm kind of just going to go off of here, like right up against it. And I'm going to go that way. And then I'm going to go off of there. Go off of there. And bring it over here. And now we're going to like build an enclosure, maybe in each of these corners or maybe in this corner we'll have like a fast food area i kind of always like the enclosures being on this side i'm not sure why but speaking of enclosures that's probably what we'll work on first and then we'll work on guest needs afterwards so yeah let me just think about something for this really quick okay so i've been looking through the construction tab and the wall pieces and i like doing this for enclosures just because you don't have to worry about the actual barrier weighing down like you do for these ones so like if i were to use this wood logs one that would slowly break down and eventually possibly cause the uh wind scent or whatever we're using to break out so if you use construction pieces that just kind of completely goes away and I'm thinking we're going to use these ones for now. We have to unlock more because we are in challenge mode and we have nothing unlocked mechanic research wise or vet research wise actually. So I'm thinking we'll use these wooden planks. I think they kind of look nice and I think they're tall enough. Let, let me check. Natural habitat greater than 4.1 feet and these are 4 meters. So I'm pretty sure 4 meters, like meters are greater than feet, right? So I'm pretty sure 4 meters is like, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. If they jump over, they jump over. I mean, we'll just put them in a box. But anyways, I'm thinking we'll have like, okay, so wait, how much space do they need? Let's do some math really quick. So let's say like right before it hits 1,000. So around 6, 945. If each of those are 4 meters, and we make this just a square, a simple square, then we need to get the square root of this, which would be about... Okay, I'm just going to ask my Alexa for help. Okay, so I just decided to do the square root of 1260 because it kind of sounded like a better number. And my Alexa told me it's 35 point something something, so we'll just say 36. And 36 divided by 4 is, oh shoot, I think, I think it's, oh, it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 39. So we have to have a 9 by 9 of those pieces wherever they went. Here they are. And I'm thinking for the first enclosure, we're probably just going to do a square. I might do something a bit fancy on it. I'm not sure yet, but it's probably just going to be a square. But, I don't know. I'm just going to add these in. So, like, let's line this up. Make sure it's, like, right there. As close as possible. So, that should be good. And then, going this way, I'll probably use the large window ones. So, are these guys shy? I don't think so. They probably aren't. Can guess enter habitat? No, of course. But, relation with humans is neutral. So, that's a bit worrisome. But, I think they should be fine. I mean, they're big. How, how can they be scared of humans? But anyways, let's go back down. Get the window piece. Oh, shoot. I'm out of the group. Uh, enter. Yes. Okay, we gotta scroll all the way back down. Okay. So, I think I'm going to... Since we need nine, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And then this will be a regular piece. And then we'll go six, seven, eight... And then back to the regular piece for 9. And that looks good, I think. Yeah. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. And then those will be our two viewing areas. So guests should be able to get an angle from pretty much everywhere, I think. So let's just do it on the inside there. And then go back to the window. So 1, 2, 3. Back over here. 1, Back over here, one, two, three, and then back over here, one. Okay, and then we just really got to square this off, but I'm thinking, what if we make them a little shelter? Because they're probably going to need shelter, right? I mean, pretty much every animal needs shelter. So what if we make their shelter out of plaster? It might be a terrible idea, I don't know, but I think it might look good. 
So let's take a plaster wall. Oh wow, this already feels like a bad idea. Um, that's okay. That's alright. Uh, let's just pretend like this keeps going. So would it be on the outside? Yes. So, we'll take the plaster wall. And we're kind of just gonna take it all the way up to the edge. Like that. Okay, place that. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then this will be on the inside. So one, two, three, four. That feels right. And then we'll square it off with, say, that. And then that. And then we'll add a arch. An arch. So we'll do that. And one, two, three, four. Don't really have to count. There. So now they can kind of get in there. I'll add a roof, which is very tedious. I do not like adding roofs. But I think I'll just make it flat since it doesn't really rain in this biome. Oh, by the way, I built this um, zoo. I'm building this zoo in the temperate biome in Europe. And the zoo's on hard difficulty. I probably should have mentioned that in the intro, but whatever. Now you know. Anyways, I'll probably just do a square roof. First, just real quick, let me just... Oh, wait. Oh, I messed that one up. It's supposed to be, like, flipped. And eh, whatever, I'll just... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Um. That's okay. I'll fix it later. And then on this side, reverse it. Oh, oh jeez. Why is it... I'm sure it's fine. It looks fine. I mean, it's not glitched or anything. It's just like, there's a wood plank. It just kind of keeps... It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just don't think about it too much. Anyways, if we come back over here to this, let's just delete it really quick. Delete. And then we're in the editing group again, so we'll just replace it really quick. There we go. Beautiful. Now we'll add this roof really quick really quick we're just going to do a very simple roof for now i don't really care to make it any more advanced i'm hoping they're not that big and they can't fit in the shelter i didn't really think about that too hard at least but i'm sure it'll be fine and since it doesn't rain that much let's just add like this i'm sure that'll look fine yeah this looks great and then we'll just like i mean it won't really it's supposed to be a floor i know it says floor but like Come on. It doesn't have to be a floor. So we can just keep this going. All the way there. And then for some reason, it doesn't want to go to the side. So we're going to exit this group. And we're going to just try to align it as great as we possibly can ourselves. Something like that. And then we'll just go over. And we can pretty much just finish it off like this and hope we align the first one correctly because if we didn't, we just screwed up the whole thing. But it looks, it looks right. So, this is a shelter. I hope it's technically a shelter. I mean, technically, this roof is fine because if it does rain, it's just going to get inside and not work as a shelter anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But I think it'll count because it's dark inside. So the game probably counts it as a shelter. Anyways... We need to actually make this a habitat, but before we do that, I want to make, like, the staff entrance. So we're just going to take out this plaster wall, and we're inside the editing group. Perfect. We're going to go down to plaster walls, and there should be a doorway. Yes. So that would be the staff entrance right there. Let's just go ahead and get barriers really quick. We're going to use the null barrier, and I'm basically just going to put it, like, right here. And all I'm going to do is just trace the enclosure with this null barrier. Okay, and there we go. I successfully traced it. You can see the little bit of yellow there. That'll go away as soon as I go out of barriers, however. But if I click this doorway, there's the barrier right there so we can edit it. And we can pick a door. And I'm thinking on the plaster, the glass one would probably look best. Oh yeah, it does. The only thing that sucks is I don't really have the skill to know how to fix those little gaps so if we go out of there there's a clear gap i mean the sides i mean it kind of works i mean it works the sides like have little hooks that connect and kind of look like it connects so it works but anyways i just realized 
that I'm going to be very lucky if I can even get two Wissens. Because the animal market might not even have them. So that's probably what I should do next before I even worry about any more of this. But actually, let me just check. How big is this? 1296. So perfect. Our calculations were on point. Okay, so. Staff areas. I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to get a staff path. Probably the red one. Because the red one's the best one. Superior. But we're going to go down on the width a bit. And we're going to extend out by one and then over. And then we'll get the length going. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. That looks weird. Okay, bring it back down. And I guess we'll just go now. It's kind of weird because it wants to connect to the like barrier. But this is a staff path. The staff don't care about looking at the animals. Okay, come on. You don't have to be like this. You really don't. Just connect. That, that works. Why not? Okay, and then we're going to get all these staff, like, things. The staff, like, oh, how do you say it? The staff facilities. There we go. But let me check. Okay, so the power does reach all the way over here, so we're good. I was a little worried about that, but it's okay. So what we need are the Animal Trade Center. Okay, so that'll go, like, here. Let's check the heat maps. Now, these are very good because you can use, like, the habitat to see if an animal can break out, or you can use the negative impact on guests to see if the guests are going to absolutely hate seeing the building, but it looks like they cannot see the building because that path isn't in the red zone, so we're good. So we'll just add a keeper hut. Do we need a quarantine? No, we don't. We'll just put them in the enclosure, and if we have to send them back, we will. A staff room is important. A veterinarian surgery is important since we don't have a quarantine, and a workshop can go right at the end. And these are all the staff facilities we need. We can pretty that up later and make it a building. But for now, this is what we have. And we haven't really unlocked anything to pretty anything up with anyways. But now that we have all of these, we can, first of all, just go into animal trading and see if there's a Wissant. Refresh. I wonder if I have to play the game because it's kind of been paused for a long time now. So play. Refresh. Refresh. Come on. Okay, um, there's nothing in the market. Reset all filters. There we go. Okay, so let's pause the game and just cross your fingers, guys. Cross your fingers. Wissent. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so we only have one choice for a male, but it's a bronze medal, and it's honestly not too bad. So we're going to get that. It's from Custom Seizure, so don't do that one again. This one's also from Custom Seizure, so they could be like... They could be, oh, what? What am I trying to say? They could be siblings, which is bad. And honestly, this one's better anyway, so we're just going to pick this one up. And we have two Wissens now, and that's all we need, right? 2 to 13. Yep, we're good. All right, perfect. So we have our animals. However, we need our staff. So let's go to zoo, staff, and let's do the caretaker, the keeper, the uh, mechanic, and the veterinarian, those are the major four. Those are the ones you need at the start. Including the vendors, but they come with the shops and stuff you get, so it doesn't matter. Let's play the game. Now that they're in, I think... Oh, oh, I almost forgot. I was going to say this enclosure is done, but it is quite far from it. Because these wood panels, they don't actually have glass in them. That is, That could have been terrible. They could have just walked right out of those panes. So let's not look up wall. Let's look up glass. And we're going to need this one. And since they're not really shy, we don't really need to worry about one way. So let's just go ahead and get it vertical. And then it's not going to fully go on its own. So we're just going to go to advanced. Move it back. And now it's in here, right? It is now... No, it's not. Hang on, I'll get this working. No, don't pop. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to pick this up so it covers the whole thing. And that is going to pretty much be the glass pane. So we're going to click the check on that. And basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to slide it over. 
I'm just going to do that all the way around. And then I'll just rotate it 90 degrees when I get to the other side. So yeah, I'll be done with this quite shortly. Okay, so I have all the glass in. As you can see, when I click inside of each box, there's actually glass in there. So that's incredible, fantastic. Now is for the time we've all been waiting for very much indeed. We are going to get the Wissens in here and cross our fingers that they are not sick. So we're going to play the game, go into our Animal Trade Center right here, open Animal Storage. And here are our two Wissens, and they're actually quite young. How long do they live? I know I'm kind of just delaying us looking at them. 21 years, so they, they got a while with us. So let's just go back into the Animal Trading and get them in here. You guys do not have to wait any longer to see the Wissens, because here they come. And the cool thing is, I just remembered, they're actually from the brand new Eurasia Animal Pack, the newest pack in December of 2023. So that's cool. Um, I'm filming this in like January of 2024, so this pack didn't come out too long ago at all. So here's the Wissen. Hopefully it fits. Hopefully it's not that big. 1,600 pounds, so it's quite big. Oh, wow. Why is that actually bigger than I thought it would be? Oh, oh wow, they're actually, they're actually quite hefty animals, aren't they? Well, here they are. This guy seems happy, I guess. Hopefully that means the animals are healthy. Um, so young adult, of course. How are they looking? Hard shelter is great. I knew this would work. Uh, their terrain is definitely not the best, though. Can I see the actual, like, genetics of this animal? How heavy is this animal? Size is 58 percent so he's honestly not that big at all physical stats 1.92 meters tall at the shoulder okay lifetime stats okay so i can't actually see this animal's specifically like his weight which kind of sucks but that's whatever so let's work on their terrain needs shall we they need way less long grass well actually not way less they kind of enjoy um, short grass, or long grass, what am I talking about, but they want more short grass, they really enjoy short grass, in fact, all of their enclosure can be short grass, and they'd be happy if it weren't for the other terrain needs, so let's just get the, like, window views short grass, just to make it easier to see them, and then they need soil, so I'm thinking soil would make sense in a place, like, inside of here, right, probably, so let's just get all of this looking like soil, I think that would look nice. And then let's turn the intensity down when it comes to like coming out. Yeah, there we go. Yep. That looks decent. Is there grass over here? There is. Get out. There we go. So we have the soil kind of seeping through out of there into their grassland little run area. Uh, they don't like snow, of course. We're all good on space. So yeah, environment. They don't care about coverage. Overview, their welfare is pretty good. Enrichment obviously could use work, but we haven't unlocked enrichment quite yet. Speaking of that, though, before we forget, we should get on vet and mechanic research. So, obviously get on the Wissent. And the mechanic... Oh, boy. This is a tough decision. I don't actually know what I want to research. There's a lot. A lot. I'm thinking... You know what? Let's just do the Oceana theme. I don't see why not. Actually, we should probably do staff facilities. Be smart at the beginning. So let's do staff facilities. Or power, actually. Let's do power. That's that's the smart choice. Power. So while they're working on that, we... Okay, we need to remember the essentials, actually. So habitat. They need food and water, of course. In fact, we could probably get water in here but then we need a water filter like a water station and those cost a lot of money to run so we're not going to do that instead we're just going to give them a water pipe but before i do that let's just filter to the wisdom there it is all the way at the bottom well the wolverine's at the bottom but whatever anyway so here's the water and i'm thinking we'll put the water up to this window like there turn it around one more time like that Okay, I think the water trough actually might have been smarter, but it's fine. That's enough water for them. It's constantly pumping, so it'll be fine. And we'll give them a large food trough. Let's be nice. So just right smack dab in the center of this viewing area. Perfect. 
Okay, so beds. We could totally get some beds in here. Get some bedding. Um, oh wow, the large bedding doesn't look like anything compared to them. It actually doesn't even look like, it looks small. Wow. But anyways, we'll just get a bunch of this scattered around. I'm sure it'll be fine. This entire area doesn't need to be bedding, but they like bedding. At least I hope. So yeah, we'll get that in. And we'll play the game. And the shelter works for them. The shelter is kind of perfect, not gonna lie. Uh, if we do get 11 in here, however, we're definitely going to need to expand. Actually, I think the max is 13. Yeah, that's going to be a lot. Oh, wow. I've never actually looked at the Wiscent. They're so new, and I haven't played the game since the new pack came out. So let's just take a look really quick. Look how majestic. I wish you would get out to the light. Oh, shoot. Speaking of the light, we actually have guests coming in. So, goodbye, Wiscent. I'll see you at the end of the video, but... I need to make sure our guests are happy. Okay, so what do guests need? The first thing that comes to mind is definitely food, water, and bathrooms. So let's go ahead and get maybe even a little building in. I'm thinking I'm making a building. So let's go to facilities, first of all. Staff facilities, or guest facilities. Before we make it a building, I think I'm just going to place them down, honestly. I know that's kind of ugly, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, in real life zoos, they're not even buildings. They don't, I mean, you see these outside, like how it is. So it's fine. I don't, there's no problem with it. It's fine. So we'll go ahead and get a chief beef, a gulpy soda, an information center, and a restroom. This is what I like to call the magic four. This is everything you need for the first part of your zoo. A restaurant is super cool though. I would totally do that, but it's expensive. Also a souvenir shop. Those are like a new feature. I haven't really tried out too much yet, but those are very expensive as well. Anyways, now that we have the magic four, we can go ahead, head into facilities. And now what we need are trash cans, bins, and then education for the Wissant. So first of all, bins. I like to just get them at every little like notch here. It's so like in between each of the paths for the things. And that kind of usually is good for the food and stuff since it's so messy over there, I guess. And then I just like getting a trash can occasionally like in the center of the path. So let's just do that. That, I guess maybe that if people wander all the way down here. And that looks pretty good. Alright, so next to the trash cans, or like not really next to them in this case since they're in the middle... But kind of like where there's a viewing area, I kind of like to just make a bench parallel. So let's just get like five here and then five going here. And then we can't really do the same thing here. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, we can. So let's just go ahead and get, I don't know, three on this end. Oh, oh no, I messed it up. Okay, take that back. One, two, three. And then... One, two, three, there we go. And now you can kind of sit down and get a view of the Wiscent as long as like nobody's crowding the windows or anything. But speaking of windows, we need education. And this is actually going to be the last thing we do in this episode. Security cameras? Security signs? Do these exist? Restaurant pa patio heater? Huh. Guest barriers? I don't know if these exist or not. I don't I don't recognize them. I don't really get too in depth with the game though, I guess. So let's go to media devices and education. What we're gonna need is educational speakers, educational signs, and good old donation bins. I love donation bins. They give you so much money. So much money. Let's turn off the um there's something that's like making it want to like align to the like group how do i turn that off i don't and it doesn't matter really honestly i just okay that was wrong placement i'll just add it to the group put it there i like putting one there and then i'll get one of this corner and one of this corner like where guests are looking at it i wonder does power come this far it does that's fantastic Okay, I don't know why I did negative impact on guests. Now what we need is to get out of here. 
We need to get out of the group as well. I don't know why I'm in the group. What we need are habitat educational boards. These are great and fantastic and wonderful and brilliant. And we're going to use the education board instead. So we are going to barely go in the window there. Just so we don't have to go into the group because that's stupid. Do that. And then one right there. And then we can actually center this because I just realized that going in the group doesn't matter. So we'll do that. It doesn't really obstruct people's view of the animals like at all because they're not eye level with it. So if they look up for the education or whatever. And this is basically so Karens can't say that they're not educated and to get a refund and stuff. So that's kind of nice because they can just look up. But um, where the guests aren't looking, of course, it's eye level, just so it's easier for them to see it. Actually, it's not eye level. You still have to kind of look up, but that's okay. And now, the last thing we need are donation bins. So, where are donation bins? Here they are. I'm just going to place one right here. And then I'm going to change the colors up a bit to make it kind of match the wisent a bit more. So, let's go to color editor. Let's make that white, maybe like a brown, yeah, and then let's make this kind of like a lighter brown, almost, or a darker, maybe, that's red, maybe this, that's orange, but I kind of like it, and then we'll make the blue, maybe that, I kind of like that, ooh, that's kind of nice, apply, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually duplicate this, so duplicate, and that can also go there, that can go there, and there. And just all these intersections, like in the windows, we're just going to place a donation bin. And there we go. So, we should have a pretty successful zoo. Um, however, we are not done with education. I'm going to go on all of these boards and education speakers and set it to the Wisent. So this might take a while, hang on. Okay, now that we have all of the education signs talking about the bison bonaeus, I don't think that's a real thing. The weasen, the wesen, that's that's not what this is. This is the, oh shoot, I already forgot. I, that kind of like messed up my thinking. Is it like the weisen? Weisent, so that's still wrong. But anyways, we have food, water, they like their enclosure. Only thing that could be better is enrichment, of course, but we don't have any enrichment to give to them, so I'm sorry. But anyways, other than enrichment, our zoo is actually good. This is a great start to the zoo. Uh, there's nothing really more I want to do at such an early stage. I don't like making high detailed or, well, okay, I'm, I'm tooting my own horn. I don't make the best detailed stuff, but I can at least somewhat detail stuff, especially enclosures, and I don't like doing that at the beginning of the game when I'm not too sure where I want all the animals to be. Obviously, for this zoo, we're doing the top 10 largest or heaviest animals, so we're only going to have 10 animals, so I want to make sure all 10 are placed correctly throughout the zoo, and I kind of want to plan it out, but I didn't do that for this episode because this was kind of a last minute thing. Because remember, I was thinking I haven't posted in a while, so I created a YouTube poll, and you guys wanted the top 10 heaviest animals. And so far, we have the Wissent. Um, all the guests look pretty happy. We're not in the positive for money quite yet, but we do somehow have an extra four conversation credits. Or conservation, not conversation. Same thing. Um, if we look at the Zoopedia, to just learn a bit more about these guys. Group... They can have up to 1 male and up to 12 females. But the male bachelor group size is 2 to 8. I don't understand how that works, but that's alright. Anyways, um, when they get 20 years old, they can't have babies anymore. But that's okay, because their life expectancy is only 21 anyways. Um, their gestation incubation period is 9 months. So that's just like a human, I think. Interbirth period, I don't know what that means. I think it's like the time in between pregnancies, maybe? I'm not sure. Only one per mating event. That kind of sucks, but that's that's just how mammals are usually. Aside from dogs and cats. But anyways, I'm getting excited. Oh my gosh. Pause the game. 
Whoa. He's looking straight at them. It's like he's just going to charge the window and shatter the, shatter the glass. That's exactly what it looks like. He's just staring down the window. He could easily probably just charge the window and shatter the glass like I just said. He could probably do that. You know, this may not be the most secure enclosure, but I like to think that our Wissant in here, or however you pronounce that, I like to think that they are happy and they don't want to break out. But nonetheless, he could easily just charge this window and shatter the glass. But let's go in here and actually get like a closer look. So obviously we have it here. This could be a cool thumbnail, maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go in here and let's look at the female. Yep, that's the female. Oh, that was a complete guess, by the way. Here she is. She is large. She is massive. Uh, I'm not fat shaming. It's okay, guys. It's okay. But anyways, these these animals are really cool. I like them. Uh, let me actually play the game. I got a little too excited about the whistling, staring at the glass. Um, all right, back to camera. I've never made an enclosure for these animals, but now that I have, I like oh. What is that by his feet? Okay, that's okay. He was just staring at the guests while he. Oh, okay. Okay. Males are gross. He was staring at the guests. Like our visitors. He was staring at the people as he was doing the business. And now he's laying in it and making it glitch. Oh gosh. You, my sir, are very disgusting. But, anyways. Oh, you, you are very cool, though. You have a you have a huge goatee. That's crazy. But anyways, this has been episode one of the heaviest zoo, I guess I'll call it. I don't know. I guess that's what the series is. The heaviest zoo. This has been episode one of the heaviest... Oh my gosh, that poop just got so much clearer. Let me... How do I block my vision? Oh gosh, I can't. I'm just going to use you to block it. You laid right back down. Okay, anyways. This has been episode one of the heaviest zoo... Oh my gosh, the female. No, not right in front of us. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a weird way to end this video. Uh, this has been The Heaviest Zoo, Episode 1. Episode 2 will probably be out like next week of me uploading this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.